earth signs, hey earth signs, Taurus, Virgos, Capricorns, I'm back. Thank you guys for watching my channel. She's got the gift, earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. <laughs> so I'm on rise of Venus Christmas. These messages are for you. Energy check in for you, okay? Take the parts that resonate with you, my earth signs, and be the rest for the rest. Virgo, we're going to jump right in with you. You guys already know that my personals go on sale every weekend, so take advantage and get your slot. I'll pin my email in the description box below. That beautiful rose company, yep, you already know the deal. They'll be posted down there as well. Yes, they still got amazing sales and discounts going on, and their discounts just went up, you guys, okay? So treat yourself. Don't cheat yourself. But not only will you receive 60% off, 90% off, or whatever it is that they discount you for at this time, put in my discount code, which is GIFT25, and you'll receive additional 25% on top of your order, okay? So take advantage, you guys. Virgo spirit energy check in for Virgo spirit white light holy angels I call upon you to guide me thank you for using me as a vessel I'm grateful continue to protect me and my foundation protect the Virgos and their foundation Capricorns and their foundation Taurus and their foundation no weapon being formed to come against us shall prosper please return to sender all black magic evil entity and spell work being sent thank you Ooh, messages for Virgo spirit Virgo I'm hearing that song by uh, LMA this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. This is, hey, I want to, I want to, um, I want to listen to that song. Man. It says, look at the bigger picture, Virgo, full moon and Sagittarius or something about the Sagittarius this season is coming up. This could be very significant. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius at this time. Show me more spirit for Virgo. It says, don't let pride get in your way, full moon in Leo, Virgos. I feel like um, you should go watch the uh, collective read because collective got that too. Yeah, you was coming out in that read a lot as well, Virgo. So go ahead and get those messages out of there. Look at the bigger picture. What is this about, Spirit? Insight on this for Virgo. They want you to like reconsider something and don't let your pride get in the way. What's that song? This is... What I want to do for the rest of my life in this year. It could be a love. It could be romance. He said, every time I see you got them feelings on me. Somebody got you. Somebody. Mmm. There it goes. Look, I got to listen to that song, y'all. I, I don't know it. I got to listen to it. Let me see. Look Look at the bigger picture, Spirit for Virgo. Nine of Cups. Yeah. Oof. Ooh, it's getting hot, Virgo. It's getting steamy over here. <laughs> somebody check all the boxes. You have fun with somebody. You could party with somebody. You could drink with somebody. You feel like you're the man or the woman around this person. This person uh, strokes your ego real good. Show me more. But over here, Virgo, you got don't let pride get in the way with all the, with these with this nine of cups. You could be overindulging in too much attention here and like let, allowing the wrong people stroke your ego. And missing out on something or leaving somebody behind that you're not supposed to look. Judgment here in reverse. Thank you, Spirit. I'll be on it. Yeah. Virgo, stop. Don't don't overindulge in something because whoever you're giving your attention to or whatever you're doing, you're doing it just a little bit too much here. And with judgment being in reverse, it ain't going to work out the way you plan. The way you expect something to work out or whoever you're dealing with, I don't know. They telling you to reconsider here or look, look, look at the bigger picture here. Something... Something that's glittering, it ain't gold, baby. One more. Mm. Ooh King of Pentacles. This gonna be whoever this is, you're gonna overindulge in a little bit too much. It's gonna turn into something where you're gonna have to take care of it for a long time here. This gonna turn out into a responsibility, a, a, a extra bill added to your bill collection already. This is what they're saying. Look at the bigger picture. Don't overdo it. You're going to find yourself here in a rut. You're going to find yourself here having to pay for something every month or do something every month here for something. This is definitely your energy with this King of Pentacles here. Mm. Don't let pride get in your way. What is this about Spirit for Virgo? New Moon and Leo. You'll be dealing with a Leo here or a Sagittarius, a fire sign here. Ace of Swords. Don't let pride get in your way. It's like you already know or you be, you're becoming clear on something about this fucking Leo. I keep seeing Leo. Okay. Show me more. It's like you already know the truth about something. Ace of Cups. Oh, you got the Ace of Swords here. Ace of Cups. Don't let pride get in your way. Look at the bigger picture. You could be dealing with somebody and it's going to turn out all bad. Or you feel like this person is the one for you, but it ain't. You're going to have to fuck around and pay child support every month or deal with something or have to take care of something. 
someone else's bill every month this is what i'm saying and then it says don't let pride get in your way the ace of cups the ace of cups here with the ace of swords something new here a new love you're debbie down and are like you're out looking or overlooking this new situation here or is something that you're supposed is somebody new here that you're supposed to be with or like something you're clear on somebody a water sign or an aquarius you got leo here aquarius cancer pisces scorpio in this situation you could be dealing with another earth, earth sign as well virgo but they're trying to like stop you here from putting yourself in a rut i feel like you're gonna have to take care of somebody here with judgment here showing up in reverse nine of cups king of pentacles don't overindulge you're gonna fuck around and do something here where you're gonna have you're gonna be stuck with somebody i'm leaving it there virgos they saying you got new love here and be clear on what you want to do don't overindulge it don't let your whoever this is that's stroking your ego they doing it purposely they know what you like they know how to get up under your skin they doing it well here you're going to get stuck with somebody okay but new love is arriving here and this is the truth so it's up to you, Virgo. I'm leaving it there. This new love could be an Aquarius here, a Cast of Pisces, or a Scorpio message. Don't forget to hit the like, the comment, and subscribe button, Virgos. Virgo. I said Virgo. Virgos. <laughs> What's up, Capricorn? New moon messages for Capricorn spirit. Let's see. Messages for Capricorn. Sun arising, Venus this place here. Capricorn. Don't let your ego get in the way. I just heard you heard what I said. Capricorn, who are you going out of bed? Who are you talking to? Who are you putting in that place? Messages for Capricorn spirit. You heard what I said. A fiery climax is approaching. New moon in Aries. Ooh, we these fire signs on fire today, boy. Y'all can be dealing with a fire sign. A fiery climax approaching approaches. I'm here going nowhere fast we reach the climax. Something could be coming to an end. I feel like it was better to stay temporarily anyway. Tell me more. Or you should be thinking something that's coming to like nothing yet, nothing is yet set in stone. This was at the bottom of uh, Virgos. And then it says, show the world the real you, full moon in Aquarius. Mutable moon, hmm. Full moon in Aries. You could be dealing with an Aries here or an Aquarius or any mutable sign. What is this fly, fiery climax approaches here? This could be you and a fire sign. You and your loved ones are saying new moon and cancer. Somebody got cancer in their chart or is it cancer? This could be your twin flame approaching here at the point. Fiery climax approaches. Something gonna happen in April. Show me more about this spirit. The Hierophant here and the Four of Wands. She something to do with your marriage, a union. Something is getting. It says a fiery climax is approaching. The Hierophant here with the Four of Wands. I feel like you right where you need to be at. I feel like something died down between two people, but it's it's, it's coming back around here. It's, it's firing up here. A union, a marriage, just high level of commitment. I feel like somebody been through a lot too, so you deserve whatever this is that's approaching you. A couple of you guys could find yourself getting in, getting like in too deep, not too deep, real deep with the fire sign or a Taurus. I feel like this is what you need. I feel like you're right where you're at. Right where, I feel like where you're at is where you need to be. It's like you perfect timing here. Something is about to explode. Something is about to explode, Capricorn. Nothing yet is set in stone. Why is nothing yet set in stone here? Because it's approaching. Show me more. Nothing is yet set in stone. Show me more of the Capricorn spirit. Star here, it's like keep the faith. They want you to keep praying. They want you to know that something is coming. They want you to know that a fiery climax is approaching here. Nothing yet is in stone. So nothing yet, <clears throat> nothing is yet in stone. I feel like um two Capricorn. Show me one more spirit before I say that. Confirm what I'm about to say. Confirm what I'm about to say, spirit, for this. Nothing is yet set in stone. Ace of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Ooh wee. Collective, you need to go read, uh, watch the collective read, uh, Capricorn. You all up in there too. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, strong Aquarius out here, strong Taurus out here, or another Capricorn. 
I feel like you have you have um you have to say so. I feel like you run the show, Capricorn. The fiery climax approaches over here with the higher fun and the four of wands. It's like whatever you want, you finna get. But not only that, you got something new coming in too that you've been praying and hoping and wishing for. And then you also could have somebody that you're living with, you're dealing with, and it, it has the, it's like it's going, it's gaining momentum. It has the approval here, the potential to go far if you allow it to, but you got something new coming in too. So you're going to have a decision to make. This goes back to the collective read. This is for you. The collective read is for you, Capricorn. Show the world the real you. What is this about? So you could be coming out. So people could be stepping out to people like, yeah, we together. Yeah, we fuck around and this is what it is. Show me more. Ooh, Capricorn, what's that going on here? Yeah. You in a Sagittarius? Yeah, look at this. You in a ooh, you in a Sagittarius? Are you in an Aquarius? You got the Six of Pentacles here with the Temperance. Mm. Be careful for what you ask for. You just might get it. You could be dealing with a Taurus. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius or an Aquarius in this situation right here. Ooh, I you. It's it's you. It's you. You your, the ball is in your court, Capricorn. It's your say so. You give you what you make people wait or whatever this is. Mm -hmm. I feel like you got two people, Capricorn, to choose from. You got one waiting while you give it to one right now at this time, but it's up to you. Ooh, I don't know who needed to hear this message right here. Mm -mm, I'm getting out of here. It's up to you, Capricorn. You're gonna have a decision to make. Because the universe, you ask for something here. Whatever this is that you pray for, it could be a new relationship, a new partnership. Whatever this is that you ask for is coming in, okay? It could be that you and a Sagittarius or you and a Taurus. A new home, y'all moving in together. Something is like coming. A fiery climax is approaching, baby. So it's up to you. What you gonna do? You gonna stay or go with someone new? You got that? It's on you. You got to say so. Love you, Capricorn. Don't forget to hit the like, the comment, and subscribe button. What's up with Taurus, spirit? What's up, Taurus? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Clarity, truth, guidance for Taurus at this time. Ooh, Capricorn. You make me want to do your own reading. You make me want to do your own personal. Show me more spirit. Messages for Taurus. Clear messages for Taurus. Somebody sad. It says, don't let your past hold you back. South note. So whatever your south note is. Mm. Somebody north note is in Pisces. Show me more. Um, they also saying too, uh, it's a lot of people coming back from your past, or it's, it's one particular person here that's trying to hurt you, hold you back towards. Watch the collective read. Show me more. Oh, for Taurus, thank you. Be grateful for these messages here. Meditate and contemplate. Mm -hmm. New moon in Pisces. Pisces season was very significant. You could have met someone. This could be a Pisces coming towards you, but it could be somebody from your past because it says don't let the past hold you back. They only coming back around because they still confused, whoever this past person is. One more spirit for Taurus. Mm. Mm. You know you got your own coming out. Um, uh, communi communication is the key. New moon and Gemini. A couple of you guys could be dealing with a Gemini. Uh, show the world the real you here showing coming up. Showing uh coming out, excuse me. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, you could be dealing with a Gemini, an Aquarius, a Capricorn, a Pisces, or a Cancer yeah. here. Yeah, somebody from your somebody from your past. It could be a water sign. I could be talking to a Taurus that talk was talking to a water sign and had to let them go. Yeah, they planning here to come back. Mm. Why don't let your past hold you back here, Spirit for Taurus? Why is don't let your past hold you back? For Taurus. Eight of Wands, yeah, because they come in and they moving too fucking fast. Whoever this is, they move too fast for themselves. My goodness. But messages are coming in. Communication is coming. Okay. Show me more. And also, they also telling you too, Taurus, because they say don't let your past hold you back. Get the fuck away from this person. What are you waiting for? Move on. It's time to close out a cycle and get going. Collective read here. Mm -hmm. Show me more, spiritual Taurus. Two of Pentacles. Yeah. Temperance at the bottom of the deck. Two of Swords here. Knight of Cups with the, with the Queen of Wands. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody here from your past is definitely still juggling. They still got secrets, but they still holding on to you energetically. 
but they telling you here to move on. You got it. You got what it takes. A couple of you guys are just still dealing with someone from your past and dealing with a new person here. Show me more. But you don't know that that's holding you back. One more. Six of Wands here with the Nine of Wands. You want a fire sign? Aries, you are a Sag. You got somebody feeling like they the man or whoever this past person is, they feel like they can play with you. They like to be seen. This is a Leo. They like to be seen. They, they like to be almighty here. Mm, and they telling you to keep your guards up from this past person for a reason. Y'all not taking heat. A couple of y'all still talking and keep, still interacting here with somebody. And this is how they're able to hold you back. They know what they're doing. This is what they're telling you. Stop letting your past hold you back. Motherfuckers still juggling here. They still getting their ego stroked by multiple people. Or one good person here that know how to stroke them real good. Whatever this is here. And they're telling you, keep your guards up and keep it pushing from this person because you're going to find yourself in the same position here or you're going to find yourself going through the same cycle with this past person, Taurus. Take heed to it. Meditate and contemplate. It's time to set some shit in. Like, it's time to get going. Show me more, spirit. New moon and Pisces. Come, some of you guys could be dealing with Pisces. The emperor here could be an Aries. But it's just this person here. And they also say, my, my, uh, meditate and contemplate. A couple of you guys are thinking about branching off, becoming an entrepreneur here. And they saying, what are you waiting for? A couple of you guys are already in that position to be a boss. But you're allowing somebody from your past here to fuck with your energy, your mind, your thoughts. Show me more, spirit. Meditate and contemplate the emperor here in the three of cups. I feel like you got something to celebrate. I feel like you guys reached a milestone. I feel like you guys are moving on here. I feel like you guys are gaining that momentum. Your energy here is gaining momentum. Your energy is starting to pick up and you starting to throw yourself back out there in this past person. See it. One more on this situation, spirit. Yeah, look at Seven of Swords. You can't make it up. Uh, collective. Some, some of y'all, Taurus, you got messages in a collective read. I strongly suggest you go watch it. Show the world the real you. It's just trying to break free from somebody. It's, just, it's time to break free. Just period, Taurus. Show me more spirit. Show the world the real you. King of Swords here. Stand on what you mean. I could be talking to a Taurus masculine here. Fight for what you want to. It's time to show the world, too. It's time to show this past person that it, it's over with. It's time to show this past person that you cannot be played with any longer. That's just that. It's time to transform here. It's time to mean, mean business here. It's time to branch off here. It's time to be your own boss. It's time to get cut out of this third-party situation. You could be dealing with an Aquarius that you need to end it with. Are you in a Scorpio here? Y'all can find yourself ended in with each other. You in an Aries. I'm picking up Leo, too. Uh, you already feel something too, though, Taurus. You already know what this person is up to. You already hit to something that somebody is up to. But you, you keep being warned for a reason here. This past person is holding on to you, baby. They ain't trying to let you go, period. But they telling you to let that motherfucker go. Meditate and contemplate because you're. it's like something that you're supposed to be doing. Or you're on a break of finding your destiny. You're on a break of like becoming a boss, your own boss. And this person, every time they get in your energy, they shift your mind the other way. And your angels is like, no, hey, 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 hey. Get back on track. Show the world the real you. And if that takes you leaving out whoever the fuck this is, let them go. It's time for you to transform, Taurus, and they want you to do that. Just that. I'm leaving it there. Taurus, Virgos, and Capricorns. This was a good read overall. Good spread for all y'all. I hope you help. I hope this helped you. I hope you liked it and you got some type of insight. If you did, please don't forget to hit that like, the comment, and subscribe button. And I'm going to call y'all later, okay? Love y'all. Protect your peace and your energy. And let this shit go. Open the windows. Clean your energy. Peace.